CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 121 through 125. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 121. To configure a host-based firewall for SMTP traffic, which port number needs to be opened? The answer is D, 25. The Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP, which is the standard protocol for sending emails, traditionally uses port 25 for communication. This port must be enabled on a firewall to allow SMTP traffic to pass through, ensuring that emails can be sent from the local system to an email serve. Question 122. Which of the following devices would be best suited for a technician to monitor all outbound traffic in a SOHO setup? The answer is B. Network tap. A network tap is designed to provide a way to access the data flowing across a computer network. In a SOVO environment, a network tap is an alternative to managed switches with port mirroring capabilities. It allows the technician to effectively monitor and capture all outbound traffic without interfering with the network's operation. This tool is especially useful for troubleshooting network issues, performing security monitoring, or collecting data for analysis without the high cost of more advanced networking equipment. Question 123. Which of the following devices can provide a laptop with connectivity to a wired network and multiple peripherals, including dual monitors? The answer is C, docking station. A docking station is designed to expand the connectivity options of a laptop. It typically includes ports for multiple displays, USB ports for peripherals, audio interfaces for speakers, and a network port for wired internet access. By connecting the laptop to a docking station, all these peripherals can be used simultaneously, often powered by a single connection to the laptop, thus streamlining the workspace and reducing cable clutter. Question 124. Which of the following statements is true regarding the functional difference in data transmission between a hub and a switch in a network? The answer is A. Switches target a specific device. Hubs broadcast to all devices. Switches are designed to conserve network bandwidth by directing data frames to a specific device using MAC addresses, which minimizes unnecessary data traffic. In contrast, hubs lack this intelligence and broadcast incoming data packets to every device in the network, regardless of the intended recipient. Question 125. What type of network device is typically employed to manage and distribute incoming network traffic across various server nodes to ensure no single node becomes overwhelmed? The answer is A. Load balancer. A load balancer is designed to spread network or application traffic across multiple servers in a network. This distribution helps to optimize resource use, maximize throughput, minimize response time, and avoid overload on any single server. When one server gets too many requests, the load balancer forwards excess traffic to other servers with more capacity, ensuring a balanced load across the network and preventing any one server from becoming a bottleneck that could slow down or interrupt service. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.